Hey all you scotch lovers out there and welcome to another Scotch for Dummies Thursday night scotch review with tonight's Johnny Walker Double Black. Double Black! The Double Black! It's not black. It's, it's double, double Black. Double black. Um, we're trying to get to these Johnny Walker labels, so here we are. Bad now, right? uh, I'm the guy in the club that likes the Johnny Walker labels probably the most. I've got what? a bunch of them at home. No. Anyway, um, the story behind the Double Black for me is that there is a little bit of a story i got to share with you guys. So when Johnny Walker announced they're coming out with this, I go ape shit, and um, I'm trying to find it. I, I find that hard to can't find it anywhere near me. I, there's a liquor store in Baltimore that's got it, and I'm like, damn, how am I going to drive to Baltimore? It's like 12 hours. <laughs> anyway, um, my buddy right here happens to take a business trip to Japan and picks up a bottle in Duty Free. And it's not the fifth bottle, it's the big boy. It's a one liter. It's the one liter, and that's what I get for Christmas that year. And uh, The one liter double bottle. Flipped out, it, it made my Christmas. I mean, I locked it in the basement. Barely, I'm not drinking this thing, you know. Oh, they're not making it special editions, limited, they're never coming out with it. Well, then all of a sudden, Johnny Walker sees how it sells, and uh, they decided just to make a regular label of it. And, make me not feel so damn special. So, um, <laughs> so we drank that heavy. bottle and I've gone through a couple more, but anyway, here we are. Uh, Double smoke. Black is what now? Two or three years old now. The label has been out for two or three yeah, years, is, I guess yeah. it has. So, um, that's, a, that's a darker one, man. Dark one. Yeah, yeah we're, uh, we've already reviewed the black, so I expect this to be, well, I know <laughs> what it's going to be. Double but, of that. Yeah, I mean, it, it's definitely a, a smoky scotch. So. Let's see what the guys so have to say about it. What does a bottle it. of this run? Oh, what does a bottle of it run? What is it, 40 bucks? It's not much. Yeah, so um, it's, it, it, on the label, rich, intense, smoky blend, matured in deep charred, old oak Deep gas. charred. Right, so, so char, char, char. you can expect deep Smoke? char. <laughs> so you're going to like this, is what you're saying? Probably. <laughs> you know, it's almost three fingers on the smell. Okay? I, 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 I haven't had a glass of this since we started Scotch Club, and my first, uh, I actually smell a little bit of a Freud in there. Yeah. I mean, I really do. It is. I, I smell a little it bit of Freud in there. Baby. <laughs> yeah. I don't think I've had this since a year. Since a year I smell some Eileen in there, but. Uh, it is a blend. It's Johnny Walker. So um, again, oh, yeah. my spiel about that is uh, don't limit yourself to the single malt. Yeah, that's nice. Um, <laughs> let's see what I gotta say about this. Uh, you know, I, I could take that Holy. one sip. Holy! I'll take that sip and just sit Woo! there for ten minutes. That's, um, that's a just, cigar drink just, right there. It just yeah. continues to. No, it's, it's not. It's bad. not it's over not the top. No, I mean, it's no, not. It's not. not. This is not our. It, it's not an Arbeck or you know. It's a smooth smoke. It, it's not even a Lafroy, really, but it's got a good smoky no, good stuff. flavor to it. Um, but it will punch you in the face if you're not expecting. If you're not a smoke it me If you're not a smokehead, it's um, yeah. I mean, if you're work. if you're not into smoky PD, I don't know. This man. isn't probably the one for you. I want to start a fire right here in the middle of a bar and smoke up a stogie and see if we can enjoy this well, thing. I mean, it's this night's is a, not over. Right? I, I will. I will admit, it's it's smoky, but it is a nice smooth. smooth. It is really smooth. It do, it doesn't it doesn't like burn at you and pull at you. It just. I mean, our big Lafroig are, are those ones that will. Kick you in the balls. Yeah. I mean, it's smoky. That's a Absolutely. good thing. I, you know, you're, you're, and like don't make my, any qualms about it. But this is this is more like that level down or two where you want yeah. some of that taste and smoke, but not like kicking in the balls. But, right. but it fades. It's not. It's not so potent that you can't taste the, the other flavors right. that it has going on. I mean, it's got some it's sweet. Nice. It's got some caramel. Um, yeah. You know, I mean, it's it's got good flavor actually. It's pretty you, good. You, you could I finish actually, the evening right. with this. I haven't. I haven't had a glass. Of, I've been through a bottle and a half probably without having ever had an Isley Scotch. So, without ever having an Isley Scotch and knowing what an Isley Scotch can have, a Lafroy or an Ardbeg can be, uh, and having this, and then going and having those Scotches and having this, I have a much deeper appreciation for this glass of Scotch now. Yeah. I really yeah. do. Yeah. This was um, your smokiest ever at the right. time. Right, and now this is just satin. Compare. I mean, not That's saying good, they're bad. Those are good. unique individual Scotches, yeah. but... But you're gonna have to be in the mood to Right, hit up an art bag right. or a Lafroy. Well, not so much a Lafroy. I can drink that on a on just a I night. Too. But the art bag, I gotta be in the mood for it. I usually have to smoke a cigar. Yeah. Right. Um, I mean, it. it Which we did this old. weekend and killed a bottle. Absolutely, we did. <laughs> I but tried. The art bag's dead. <laughs> but this is a what? Yeah. yeah right. The art bag's dead. <laughs> but this one is a. It, it's a good. 
introduction. A good it's a good introduction to some smoke and some food. Yeah. What can I say? Um, it just relaxes me. Yeah, see, I mean, I could see pouring a good, a good fill of this, dropping a big rock, and spending an hour and a half drinking that one. Sitting around the fire, putting mm -hmm. another log because, on it. Because yeah. as it dilutes, and it, if, you, if you like your scotch on rocks, as it dilutes, the flavor won't change that much. If you have a good, clean rock that doesn't, you know, that's it's got just really clean water and doesn't flavor the scotch too much, it's going to dilute it, but it won't pull out that smoke. So if you like a cold, wet, ice, then this is a good scotch that would last a long time. Well, let's, uh, what do we have to say about it, boys? Um, put a drop on it and see what that does. Let's start. I, I think the drop kind of melts everything melts down out. just a little bit. Do you, still still, do you still taste the smoke? I, I still oh, taste it's not, not as bad, though. Uh, it, it takes the smoke out of it a little bit. No, it's, um, yeah, maybe. I honestly think that I liked it a little bit better before. Uh, absolutely. Yeah, this kind of kills I, I, the smoke. Uh, I didn't want that. I didn't want that. That water on it. I don't taste. So, so now I, mean, I don't you, mind you it. You used to drink this with water and a rock. Yep. Absolutely. Uh, exactly. And I'm. It's different. I. Before I put that drop on there, I tasted that that end hint flavor that I got was that that Eilie Lafroy. Just a hint of it, and I liked it. What? I put this you drop. Like, did you say that? I, I put that drop on it and it's gone. And, uh, you're, you're, and now I want it. So, I'm so proud of you. Right. Well, I, I mean, before, we're all learning. Right. We're all and before, I was drinking it not ever knowing what that taste was. I didn't know I was missing that taste until I had a, a glass of Lafroy, until I helped finish yep. off a bottle of Ardbeg. <laughs> so I guess the point here is taste it first and right. then put a drop on or an ice cube if you need it. Uh, if you're enjoying it without it, don't put a nice on or, or, or drop on it. You know, if you're you enjoying know, it. But maybe try just a little sip, especially if it's a new scotch. You haven't had it before. You know, try it plain. You know, just neat on. Neat. You need in a glass is good. You know, um, if that's not doing it for you, put a drop of water on it, because it, it changes the flavor profile. You know. Put a Julie on it or an ice cube and see how that changes the flavor profile because all change, of these right. things affect how the scotch drinks, um, how every scotch drinks. That's what you think. You know, round the horn. What do you got? Mm -hmm. uh, you know what? I'm gonna give it a two and a half, and not that it's not a good scotch, but I think for me personally, if I'm looking for this would be a good glass, but I think if I'm looking for a smokier scotch. I, I would probably step up to like a Lafroy, right? Well, but you um, know that. But I know that. Right. But for you know, if they've got this at a bar and I'm looking for a smoky, you know, a little heavier scotch, yeah. this is a great example. And um, if, if you can't, absolutely. if you can't take the Lafroy's, if you know, if you can't make that jump, this yeah, is a this is a good really intermediate good step. Right. This would be a great and, step between black yeah. and Lafroy. Because you're right, you do get that hint of Eilie Lafroy. It's in there. Yeah, it's in there. You know, it's, it's subtle. It, it's very subtle. It's right at the front end, um, but you have to know what you're tasting for. So you almost have to taste right. those scotches first to even know what what we're talking about. Right. What's your uh, so two and a half, half. Andrew? sir? I give it a two and a half as well. Um, I think that's a good that's a good estimate. As I, as I added one of these Julies to it to cool it down, it it removes a lot of the flavor. Really? It does cool it, it down? Cool it down? I, I, well, because the this one is so much into the aroma and the smoke and all that and when you cool it down you tend to lose a lot of those aromatics that come out of right. your scotch and so as I taste it I think I prefer it warm the water I think is good I, I, I had no problem with it but so I give it two and a half it's a good scotch it's an inex a fairly inexpensive bottle it is smoky but um, I like smoke but it's not the complexity of some of the other yeah, I don't think. But yeah, it's a good. It's a good it's, blend. It's, I think it's a good. It's a good for one to stick a bottle. Yeah, that's a good bottle of scotch. Well, my my palate's obviously changed since I was at your house a year ago. So I mean, <laughs> he's I, growing up. I'm growing up. I, remember I had the I had the black white right a few reviews ago, yeah. and I was pleasantly surprised, and so I am with this one too. And this is uh, this is a good bottle. It, it tastes well. The scotch, uh, the smoke is not that bad at all to me. It's it's a nice kind of middle of the road. We've, or hit that subject, so I, I, it's a good one. I would say um, I'm definitely buying this if I want to bottle my house for sure. I would say a good two and a half. Oh, they let me down. All right, um, I'm gonna say three, and I'm gonna say three because I like the fact that it's a it's a step up 
between the the hard eyelies and the 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 middle of the road smokies. In other words, this one this one's got enough complexity and it's not it's smooth enough to uh, to to be a, a, a have its own little segment in there. Um, I can't give it higher than that because it doesn't maintain, because it does, because it loses a little bit on the water, because it loses yeah. a little bit on the the, the chill, the, the, the ice. Um, if it maintained it there, then maybe a, a step up. But um, I'm gonna say three. I, I think it's a great bottle, uh, and no wonder uh, I'm on my second or third one in my house. I think for for the money, what thirty forty bucks? Yeah, I, really? I, it's I mean oh, that's wow. a good bottle. You know, especially if you're by yourself, you want to try something a little different, a little smokier, mm -hmm. a little heavier. It's probably a good bottle to pick up. That's something to say. You know? We're single malt guys, and this is a blend. I mean, and it's just well, it's pretty so, cheap. I mean, it's good. Yeah. And so, so that's the, that's the beauty. So what we've shown is, if you like them really smoky, drink it neat. If you like a little bit less water, that's true. And some rock. So if, if you don't know how much you like smoke, get this bottle, start it neat, and start diluting. And, and if you, and and you get it down don't, to where you want. Don't think that it's just smoke. I mean, it's no, got no, a lot, lot of other characteristics as well, but compared to some of the other Johnnies that we've had, the thing they're going for here is more of the highly flavors, well, the smokier, of the heavier scotches. Yeah. There's not really a middle of road. I mean, this is the middle of road for anything because it's either really smoky or hardly any smoke. Yeah. This is a right in between. No, absolutely. But I'm just saying it's got other stuff going on. Yeah, you know, it's true. not yeah, just the smoke. It's... It's the sweet, it's the, you know. We haven't talked through all the other flavors in there. When are you going to see the sailboat? All right. <laughs> shameless all plug, right. you guys. Uh, got to do a shameless plug on the glass. United States Air Force, they just celebrated another birthday. Happy birthday. Cheers to that. And, and I'm out, right? boys. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs>